What's up, YouTube? This is Mathos97, and welcome back to another episode of WWE 13 Universe Mode. This is episode number 112, and this is the final televised episode, or webavised episode, of UCW Wednesday Night Wipeout in this series. Yeah, because the next episode is Final Destination. I know it's finally here. I guess you could call this the final approach to Final Destination inside jokes on my UCW people, but WA13 Universe Mode is finally coming to a close. I know this series has been going on ever since the game came out, ever since WA13 came out, well, not not immediately after, it didn't start till like November 2nd maybe, it was like first week of November, but uh, that was in 2013, this, or 2012 I should say. So this series has been going on for a, a long time, that's what I'm trying to say, and what a way to kick off the show here tonight. As we can see, we got one half of the UCW Tag Team Champions, KBM, now in the ring. And now coming down to the ring is his opponent, the man who will be challenging the UCW Hardcore Champion, Richard Thompson, at Final Destination. One third of Armageddon, he is Lil Caesar. Or as he was actually, he changed his name in WWE 2K14 just recently. At the time of doing this commentary, this will probably be out a little bit later. But he is now just Caesar, so... I'm sure for Final Destination, I'll have to get that changed so that it won't be Lil Caesar, it'll just be Caesar. But, anyway, so, this, like I said, is the final episode of Wednesday Night Wipeout in this series, as the next episode is Final Destination, which is a pay-per-view, it is not our usual weekly show of Wednesday Night Wipeout. No, it is the pay-per-view, which means all these feuds are going to come to a head, and this series is going to come to an end. Will I bring back UCW? I'm not too sure, but wait a minute. Armageddon trying to get... Yeah, I can't speak. Armageddon tried to plan a sneak attack here. KBM saw it coming and crossbody to the outside took out both members of Armageddon. Referees had to get them out of here. And now we can get this matchup underway. And KBM just looking to ride his adrenaline rush that he got from that attack right into this matchup, looking to start out with the advantage on Lil' Caesar as he takes him down. Um, and now going off the ropes, looking to get a running start, but uppercut by Lil' Caesar just took his head off. But yeah, I just completely screwed up on that cross body. I just wanted to say, like, several different things, and they just were, like, jammed together, and it didn't, it didn't work. But now look at this. Caesar looking for a springboard clothesline, takes down KBM. As, uh, yeah, KBM and CSM, they will be defending their tag team championships this Sunday at Final Destination because... It is confirmed. The main event of this episode will be Armageddon taking on the Savior Brothers, Disciples of Darkness 2.0, Chris and Drake Savior, who were supposed to have a rematch clause for the tag team titles, but with the whole commotion going on over uh, ownership of the company between Xander and Slatter, the board of directors have been a bit preoccupied, a bit distracted, and haven't paid really any attention to that rematch clause so it's almost as if they completely forgot about it and that creates this tag team matchup later tonight what it actually is a fair matchup if you take the rematch clause out of the equation because Armageddon has been on a destructive path through that tag team division they've been on a tear this past month they've defeated a couple of tag teams and I'd say they would be that top tag team in the division or the number two tag team in the division if it wasn't for uh, the Savior Brothers having what was supposed to be a rematch clause. So, basically a glorified number one contenders matchup, or not even really glorified, more of a downgraded number one contenders tag team matchup uh, later on tonight between Armageddon and the Savior Brothers. Also, a matchup that is set for this card is a champion versus champion matchup. The opponent for Lil' Caesar this Sunday, Final Destination, the UCW Hardcore Champion Richard Thompson will go one-on-one -on -one with the UCW Champion Thurm. So that is another iconic matchup set to go down here on the final episode of Wednesday Night Wipeout before the Final Destination pay-per-view. KBM hooking the leg, kick out there from Caesar. So yeah, that is set to uh, set to be a pretty epic card for the final episode of Wednesday Night Wipeout. We're going to go out with a bang as KBM... Nice takedown of Caesar, hung him up on the ropes, and now going to the top rope. Went for a 450 splash, but Caesar managed to get up and get out of the way. And now here's Caesar with an elevated arm breaker, jumping arm breaker, taking down KBM by the arm. 
That's a smart strategy. You want to work on a body part. Try to single out the arm of KBM. Try and weaken him. And especially in Caesar's point here, not only would a victory help him leading into his hardcore championship match against Richard Thompson, but if he could uh, wear out KBM here leading into that tag team matchup, he could help out his fellow Armageddon stable mates. Why would I say that? Uh, partners. Um, anyway, anyway, so let me get back on topic. So basically, if he could inflict some sort of an injury on KBM or, you know, just wear him out before this Sunday's pay-per-view event with the tag team titles on the line, that could help out Armageddon in a big way. <coughs> Sorry about that. Had to clear my throat. But, nice double knees to the chest and now a knee right to the face of KBM by Caesar. As KBM now, nice kick right to the ribs, or right to the gut, I should say, of Caesar. And now, nice counter there into a headlock from Little Caesar, and now taking him down with another jumping arm breaker. And he has really singled out that arm in this one. He's made that the target. But now KBM kick right to the back of the head. And now KBM going after the leg of Little Caesar, slamming it right there into the mat. And now going after the arm of Caesar. So KBM just all around trying to wear out Caesar here in this matchup. And now KBM picking up Caesar. Maybe looking to set him up for something big here. Big elbow right across the chest of Caesar taking him down. And now KBM. Double underhook. Backbreaker. What a move that was to Caesar right there. Very high impact move there. And now a kick right to the gut of Lil Caesar. And now here's KBM going back up to the top rope. But Caesar shuts that down. Tosses him off the top turnbuckle. And again drops his knee right into the face uh, right almost at the eye of KBM and now it delivers a nice roundhouse, roundhouse kick right to the side of the head and then stomping right on the arm of KBM once again and here's KBM and Irish Whip sending him over the top rope and KBM tosses Caesar right back into the ring and here's KBM now big super kick right to the face that could do it Caesar's on wobbly legs now knocked off his feet KBM into the cover well, that's one, but no, Caesar kicks out. Powers out almost. And now an uppercut once again. And if he if he keeps up these uppercuts, KBM might not make it to this Sunday's pay-per-view. He may, may have a concussion prior to that. And here's Caesar. Delivers one kick to the head. Follows it up with another. And now KBM looking for a clothesline. Caesar counters into a beautiful spinning neck breaker. As Caesar now mounting a comeback. Hooks the leg. One, two, and KBM kicking out now. So now it's KBM has to play defensive here. Caesar on offense. There's a kick right to the gut of KBM trying to shift things back in his favor. But Caesar shuts that down. And now has him in a headlock, but KBM gets out of it. Delivers another kick to the or kick to the gut. And here we go. Rock bottom takes him down. Planting Caesar into the mat. Hooks the leg. One. Two. No! Caesar kicks out. Stupid slow motion with the referee. And now there's a cross chop to the throat, but Caesar counters. Sends him off the ropes. And now another uppercut. KBM tried to hit him with a running move. Tried to use the uh, momentum coming off the ropes to his advantage. And it backfired. Caesar now could be looking to put him away. Setting him up here. Got him. Powering him up there for the Emerald Fusion. And that could do it. Caesar may have just knocked him out cold. Caesar now hooks the leg. One, two. No, now KBM kicks out. So both these superstars have given it their best shot, and they've kicked out of each other's uh, home run hit there. And here's Caesar, back body drop counters, whatever it was that KBM was going for. Might have been setting up that double unhook backbreaker once again. But Caesar now, backbreaker of his own, and turns it into a neckbreaker. Nice combination there by Caesar. But KBM now back up to his feet, delivers a punch right to the gut. And here's KBM. Oh, what move is this? Planting Caesar right on the back of his head. Very innovative move there by KBM. And now KBM going up to the top rope once again. Can he hit it this time? 450 splash. Hooks both legs. Could that do it? That's one. No, Caesar kicks out. Stays alive in this matchup. And big knee right to the face by KBM. And Caesar now. Caesar's completely, completely disoriented right now. There's a super kick once again by KBM. And now KBM could be looking for his finisher once again. Got him up. Planting Caesar right back into the mat. So we see off the instant replay. KBM, that's the second finisher Caesar's taken. That's got to be it. Hooks the leg. One, two. 
three. Stupid fan getting the sign in the way, but that's three count. KBM gets the victory over Little Caesar here tonight. So that's definitely going to help out KBM build some momentum heading into his tag team title defense alongside his brother CSM against Armageddon this Sunday at Final Destination. Why did I say Armageddon? It could be Armageddon or the Savior Brothers. My apologies. And anyway, Caesar, as we can see there, couldn't get the job done off his first finisher. And that, uh, I just completely threw myself off now when I said that. I did not mean to say just Armageddon because it could be the Savior Brothers. You never know who it could be. But as we can see, KBM delivered a super kick right to the head of Caesar and followed it up with his finishing maneuver, and that was enough to take Caesar down. So while KBM, whoever he'll be defending his title against, could be Armageddon, could be the Savior Brothers, but if it is Armageddon, then Caesar may have helped out his tag team a little bit there. May, that was a very hard fought bout between these two superstars. Took a lot out of both of them, but Caesar may have uh, hurt his own chances heading into his hardcore championship matchup against Richard Thompson as uh, he took two finishers there, got busted open. So we'll have to see how Caesar, if he can recover and uh, build, or if he can recover enough heading into the matchup of Final Destination, or have the, has that match taken too much out of him. But now coming down to the ring is Colin Watson, and this man, former half of the original Click, between uh, Click 1.0, I guess, between or no, not now. Click 2.0. That's what I meant to say. Between himself and Shane Cooper, you know, Shane Cooper ended up leaving the team. And then last week, Colin Watson helped out Demon Douglas and hit him, hit Nicholas Colt in the back with a steel chair. And wait a minute, Nicholas Colt coming in from behind. Colin Watson doesn't even see it coming. Nicholas Colt takes him down with a clothesline. And Nicholas Colt is—he's here for retribution. He's here to get revenge after what Colin Watson did last week, attacking him from behind, blindsiding him with a steel chair and leaving him wide open for a shot from Demon Douglas and big punch right to the side of the head. Colin Watson, I think he's done. He's, there's the cover and Nicholas Coke quickly does away with Colin Watson here tonight. Caught him from behind with that clothesline and Colin Watson, there was just no coming back from that. As Nicholas Coke's victorious here tonight, Colin Watson looking to get out of dodge but Nicholas Coke, wait a minute, we've seen Demon Douglas do something similar to this is he sending clearly a direct message to Demon Douglas? Kick right to the side of the head, sending Colin Watson's face right into that steel ring post. And that was a direct, impactful, powerful message to Nicholas Colt's arch rival, Demon Douglas. As we know, those two will face off in some sort of extreme matchup at Final Destination. It will be an extreme rules matchup for sure. As we know, it was just actually stated earlier on UCW.com. There is an official uh, declaration by the board of directors saying that they have escalated this matchup between Nicholas Colt and Demon Douglas as they feel it will not be able to uh, be contained. Uh, it won't be able to happen under a normal sanctioned matchup. This is going to be no disqualification. The only way they can win is just basically by beating the hell out of each other. And there are no rules, no disqualifications, no countouts. Basically just beat the crap out of your opponent until they can't answer the three count. And um, so yeah, those two are going to be going at it in an extreme rules contest. No holds barred. So that is set to be one hell of a match at Final Destination. And now coming down to the ring to face off against DJ Storms is Demon Douglas, who will be the opponent for Nicholas Colt. He was obviously just in the back. Watched what Nicholas Colt just did, kicking Colin Watson's face in against that steel ring post. And Demon Douglas now coming down to the ring, looking to do the same as what Nicholas Colt did earlier. Demon Douglas wants to make a statement and a victory over D uh, blah, blah, blah. a victory over DJ Storms would certainly help him accomplish that goal. And not only that, but we're looking at a battle for momentum as well, leading to the pay-per-view. Similar to what Brian Cole and Thurm are going through over the UCW Championship. They're trying to battle for momentum, hopefully try to help themselves out in the victory. Actually, but um, with Demon Douglas and Nicholas Colt, I mean, momentum would be a help leading to the matchup. But really, 
you just got to be in top physical condition. And from what we've seen, the attack on Nicholas Colt last episode hasn't seemed to have phased him too often. It only seems to have angered him further. He doesn't seem to be physically damaged at all. He seems to be pretty healthy. But can we say the same for Demon Douglas after this matchup here tonight? As DJ Storms is going to take a lot out of Demon Douglas. Unless Demon Douglas can do something to catch him off guard. Wrap things up quickly here. As you know, you want to be, especially if you're going into an Extreme Rules matchup like that. You want to be healthy. You want to make sure that you'll be able to put up a good fight. And it's a battle for survival. So you want to make sure not only that you're healthy enough to survive. But that you're healthy enough to defeat your opponent. Big elbow right to the face of DJ Storms right there. So Demon Douglas really, even not so much about getting the victory here, while that would be important. Big sunset flip powerbomb to the outside. And while, while a victory would be good for momentum's sake, um, as it goes for, you know, maintaining his own health, is Demon Douglas going to go far enough that he wants, or, I mean, he has to sort of uh, debate amongst himself that, why does, that doesn't make any sense. He has to basically, you know, think, is the match worth it here at this point? I mean, if he takes too much punishment, would it be better just to, you know, get pinned or take a count out, get yourself disqualified or something in order to uh, save yourself for the matchup at Final Destination? Because that's certainly going to take 110% out of both those superstars. So Demon Douglas... Doesn't want to overexert himself in this matchup. He just wants to make sure that he can make some sort of a statement. So while a victory would be key, I'd have to say maintaining his own health would be a better decision. But then again, look who we're talking about. This is Demon Douglas, the man who, you know, he gave Nicholas Colt, well, he aggravated Nicholas Colt's concussion. Um, then later on at the No Escape pay-per-view, put him through a glass window. So really... Demon Douglas, I really don't think he has any sort of, um, I really don't think Demon Douglas has any sort of self-awareness. He's not afraid to put his body in harm's way. He just wants to really beat the crap out of whoever it is that he sees in the ring, backstage, wherever it may be. He basically just wants to beat the crap out of whoever stands in his way. And putting his own body at risk doesn't seem to be much of an issue for this face-painted, uh, Demon of Destruction, Demon Douglas, as now he's got DJ Storms, uh, he's got def uh, blah, blah. Demon Douglas on the offensive here, taking it to DJ Storms, now has him up against the ropes, but Storms toss him over the top rope, and Demon Douglas managed to save himself, nice elbow right to the face, going to the top rope here, and oh, what a counter by Demon, or by DJ Storms, countered that diving clothesline into a power slam, and of course Demon Douglas coming off the top rope, that's going to add extra impact to that move. Nice Hurricanrana by DJ Storms taking down Demon Douglas. And if I can get through this matchup without confusing their names, of course, because, I mean, the DJ and Demon, I might get that mixed up. So if I can get through the whole match without botching it, that would be personal achievement for me. What is this? Demon Douglas. Nice leapfrog moves and, oh, connects with an elbow right to the nose of DJ Storms. And Storm's now coming back, delivers a punch, and now a, ro a rolling kick right to the face. And here's DJ now. Four, or reverse front, uh, yeah, reverse, re Jesus, what the heck. Reverse side rush and leg sweep, planting Demon Douglas face first into the mat, and now driving the knees right onto the arm. And there's an elbow right to the heart, and a kip up by DJ Storms. And DJ Storms, ever since he returned two weeks ago to congratulate Thurm, then last week and this week, he's just kind of trying to get back into the swing of professional wrestling. And uh, he's clearly shown that he can still go the distance. As we saw with that kip up, he's still got it. And uh, hopefully, he's does he have the cardio to uh, last these, um, these... But yeah, does he have what it takes to... Like, does he have the cardio to be able to keep up with these superstars in these long, drawn-out matches? Well... He managed to do so last week against Brian Cole, though he did not come up victorious. He did give Brian Cole pretty good, pretty good run for his money. So we'll see if he can do the same to Demon Douglas here tonight. Storms now had him, but Demon Douglas now counters, taking him down from behind. And look at this, planting DJ Storms back of his head right into the mat. And here's Demon Douglas now going to deliver some elbow drops of his own, and delivers a third right to the chest. 
of DJ Storms. And Douglas now, big uppercut! May have just taken DJ Storms' head off. And here we go. Two-handed Bulldog from behind. That could do it. DJ Storms may have taken too many shots to the head. As no, DJ Storms kipping right back up. Just showing his aggressiveness here. And now, Demon Douglas going right back to the head here. Looking to plant a face first into the mat. That just busted open. DJ Storms and Douglas now could be looking to end it here. We saw the cockiness. Just did a backflip there. And now look at this. Big clothesline. Discus clothesline taking down DJ Storms. And I think Demon Douglas, we're nearing the end here, folks. DJ, or Demon Douglas couldn't get through the whole match without doing it once. Here we go. Tune up the band super kick right to the face. And that may that may be the end for DJ Storms. There's a cover. Two count. Three, no, DJ, DJ Storms manages to kick out. Busted open and all. He kicks out. Now look at this. Big kick right to the side of the head. DJ or Demon Douglas was still stunned that DJ Storms kicked out of the super kick. Hooks the leg, or doesn't hook the leg. Two count, and he didn't hook the leg. That's that's why Demon Douglas kicked out. But Demon Douglas now just taking him down with that big clothesline. Now going to the top rope here. Connects with the forearm right across the face. DJ Storms now. Both these superstars have hit each other with a finisher. There's a DDT spiking DJ Storms' head into the mat. <sighs> I need a deep breath. I was talking way too fast there. And there's a nice half Nelson backbreaker from Demon Douglas. And now Douglas face plants DJ Storms right into the mat. Head first. That could do it. Hooks the leg. One. No. Once again, DJ Storms kicking out. Just showing the resolve and the resilience to stay alive in this one. And there's a famous sir taking down Demon Douglas. That could be the opening that DJ Storm needs to get back into this thing. He's started to take some punishment there after hitting his finisher. But now this could be the opening that DJ Storms needs. Nice counter there. Then delivers some elbows here. And getting a, getting a workout in. I don't think this is the time to show arrogance, DJ. You got to stay on him. You got to inflict whatever punishment you can. Maybe go for another finisher. I mean, DJ Storms, he's close. He's close to being able to put away Demon Douglas. As long as he can just stay on him. Keep hitting those high-impact moves. But, nope. There's a nice reversal once again. This actually could cost him here as Demon Douglas managing to reverse... DJ Storms may already be too late as Douglas now manages to counter move after move. Toss him over the top. Douglas manages to hang on. And here we go. There's a shoulder right to the gut. And look at this. Another sunset flip powerbomb this time by DJ Storms taking Douglas to the outside. Now driving an elbow right into the knee of Demon Douglas. And now here on the outside. Nope. Actually, DJ Storms going to throw him back inside the ring. Elbow right to the face, right to the nose. And now look at this. Leg drop right there on the apron. Right across the chest of Demon Douglas. And DJ Storms now. He's got to get back into the ring here. He's got to stay on Demon Douglas. May have given him too much of an opening. Douglas now has him over there in the corner. Placing him up on that top turnbuckle. And now what is this? Demon Douglas. What is, what is he going for here? Maybe going for a cutter. Oh, a cutter off the top rope. Could that do it? Demon Douglas dragging him away from the ropes. Hooks the leg. One. No, once again, DJ Storms manages to kick out. As both these superstars now got to dig down deep. And this is what I said earlier. Demon Douglas doesn't want to overexert himself in this matchup. But just showing his aggressiveness. He's not willing to give up the fight. Takes him down with an inverted Frankensteiner. Goes into the cover. Elbow across the face. And that is it. Demon Douglas defeats DJ Storms. Storms put up a pretty good fight. Took it. Uh, took DJ... Uh, bleh took Demon Douglas to the limit, but in the end, Demon Douglas just had more left in the tank and had what it took to put away DJ Storms. So Storms, possibly still a little bit of ring rust, trying to get back into things here, but that's not to say that his wrestling has been degraded since his ab or in his absence. He's put on these great matches against Brian Cole and now Demon Douglas these past two weeks, and... Getting the victory here tonight is Demon Douglas. So, Therm, you enjoying your last night as UCW champion? Am I enjoying my last night as UCW champion? No. I'm enjoying my life as UCW champion, but this isn't my last night as the champion. Listen, man, I'm getting tired of hearing you bitch and complain about not getting what you feel you deserve. Deserving something 
means that you have earned it. And as far as I'm concerned, you have not earned everything that you've been demanding. And I'm getting tired of hearing you call me out and saying that you can defeat me. No one in this company has been able to defeat me for this UCW championship. I held the UCW heavyweight title for almost two years. The only reason I lost it was on a fluke. Nobody in this company has been able to beat me cleanly when this is on the line. What makes you think you're any different? There is a reason why I am what I say I am. I am the best damn superstar in this company. That's not just a fancy label you can throw up on a sign or a poster. No, that's the facts. And here are some other facts. This Sunday at Final Destination, I'm going to defeat you for this UCW championship because I am the best in this company. I'm the best thing going today. Just ask any other superstar in that locker room. There's a reason why I am the UCW champion, and it is because no one in this company works harder than I do. No other superstar will tell you otherwise. I push myself to the very limit, and I push superstars who oppose me to their very limits. No superstar in the locker room will disagree with me on that. But for some reason, you look at me as if I'm a phony, as if I'm a joke. Well, I'm not playing, pal. This is no joke. This is reality. And the reality is, this Sunday at Final Destination, when you step in that ring against me for this title... I will defeat you just like I have all the rest. And I get it, you've gone through a lot to get to this point, congratulations. But if you're just gonna sit there and whine and moan about not getting your way, then I can't respect you. You can talk a big game, but in the end if you can't back it up in the ring, there's no reason to respect you. So if you want to be respected, if you feel that you do deserve this UCW title, prove me and all of your other haters wrong, and beat me this Sunday. We're back now here, and what a confrontation that was between Brian Cole and the UCW champion Thurm, but Thurm, he's going to have to recompose himself. He's going to have to look past Brian Cole, and hopefully that didn't just completely throw throw off his mindset here because he's got to go one-on-one -on -one in this champion versus champion matchup against the UCW hardcore champion Richard Thompson. And, I mean, Thurm, there was some very powerful words very powerful statements made by both those two superstars. Thurm basically calling Brian Cole out. And uh, I'd have to say, with what has just been said in that previous conversation, I mean, Thurm, hopefully he's not too focused now. He hasn't been too distracted by Brian Cole. Brian Cole maybe just trying to play some mind games, get inside the head of Thurm. But Thurm seems to have gotten inside the head of Brian Cole, uh, causing Brian Cole to basically just lash out at him. Luckily, security was in there, got in there pretty quickly to break that one up. But Thurm was back in the locker room, basically just getting ready for this matchup against Richard Thompson. And Brian Cole may have just completely thrown Thurm for a loop there. But uh, we'll see if Thurm will be able to bounce back from that to defeat Richard Thompson. Because this is, of course, the final episode before the UCW Final Destination pay-per-view. And Thurm could really use a victory here against Richard Thompson. But on the, on the other hand... Richard Thompson could use a victory here as well. Of course, Richard Thompson going in to defend his hardcore championship against the one, the only, Lil Caesar, who, that um, for Final Destination, I'll make sure to have his name changed up because the creator did change, and uh, it is in 2K14, but I like the name overall better. He went in and changed it, and now he's just Caesar. So I'll make sure that for Final Destination... I'll go in and change the name because this has already been pre-recorded this episode so I did not know of the change until after this episode was recorded so I'll be sure to change it up and Caesar will be the new name so no longer Lil Caesar he's just gonna be Caesar but anyway on to the match now it is Thurm taking on Richard Thompson Thurm of course UCW champion Richard Thompson of course the UCW hardcore champion and we gotta remember Thurm 
won the UCW Championship. Well, actually, both these superstars won their championships, won their respective championships at the No Escape pay-per-view. Of course, Richard Thompson winning the Elimination Chamber matchup to gain his Hardcore Championship back from Ghost. And Thurm winning the UCW Championship in the Triple Threat against Nicholas Colt and Forza. Of course, Thurm getting the victory over Forza on that occasion. But now these two superstars have their respective opponents. We saw Brian Cole just moments ago. He is not competing on this week's show. And we did see Caesar compete earlier on against KBM. And now we got to see if Richard Thompson, this would be a big opportunity. I mean, a victory over the UCW champion Thurm would definitely skyrocket. Just Richard Thompson, he'd be skyrocketed up in the UCW ranks. I mean, a victory over the current top dog in UCW and that's basically proven by the fact that he is the UCW champion and Richard Thompson he calls himself the fastest rising well okay he doesn't call himself that we call him the fastest rising superstar in UCW to date and uh, a victory over Thurm certainly would uh, yeah yeah excuse me I just completely lost where I was going with that but a victory over Thurm here certainly would back up that claim nicely as uh, now he took him down with a nice German suplex there now has Thurm by the arm taking him down and delivers a knee right to the leg of Thurm as uh, might have been going for a submission there but Thurm able to kick him away and big super kick caught Richard Thompson but yeah Thurm of course we got to remember that Brian Cole competed in a matchup last week against uh, who did who he face last week? Against Chris Savior in the main event, and Chris Savior defeated Brian Cole. So Thurm, a victory here would definitely just escalate the momentum onto his side even more. I mean, he's already... I mean, he hasn't lost since the No Escape pay-per-view, whereas now Brian Cole lost that matchup to Chris Savior last week. So Thurm, if he gets the win here, momentum is completely in his favor, in my opinion. And especially from what that conversation confrontation we just saw between Thurman and Brian Cole is you know we, he it that showed us that Thurman's is in the he's in Brian Cole's head and I apologize if I sound a bit weird now in this second part because you know it's making that transition in the time of the year where it's going from well at least the time I'm doing this commentary anyway ah uh, it's a bit late because considering it's May 1st but we're finally making the change from that winter weather to the spring warmer climates as it's been pretty cold it's been a pretty cold april now we're getting ready to move into may and we're starting to finally get some spring like weather we just got a bunch of rain the other day and because temperatures have kind of been going up and down you know it's just going to do that with allergies so i apologize if i like if you can hear me breathing or something but it's because i can't breathe out of my nose because of the stupid allergies Ugh. anyway so now Let's get back into the matchup here, as I just went on a pretty big side tangent. Anyway, this surprisingly is not the main event, but that is because the main event is a number one contenders tag team matchup, which, I don't know, the, we got back-to-back -back main events here. Look at this, Thurm taking down Richard Thompson. But we got back-to-back -back main events on this episode of UCW. There's a cover kick out by Richard Thompson. But of course, this is the final episode before the Final Destination pay-per-view. Guess you could call this the final approach. I think, did I already make that joke before? I don't know. Because because I had the length of this video, I split the commentary basically into two parts. And I actually did the first part like a week ago, and then I just never got around to doing the second part. But, anyway, uh, if I already made that joke, I apologize. But, anyway, Richard Thompson delivers the knee right to Thurm. As now these two superstars on the outside. Richard Thompson catapulted right over those steel steps at ringside. And Thurm now looking to shut down Richard Thompson, just try to turn this into an all third match, and what a drop kick right to the back, right to the back of the head of Richard Thompson, Richard Thompson may be out of it, here's Thurm now, got him up on his shoulders, and there's the rolling senton, that could do it, Richard Thompson, good night, that is it, that's ball game, two count, no, Richard Thompson kicks out, I don't believe it, I thought that would have put Richard Thompson away for sure, Richard Thompson, Definitely digging down deep here. Wants to make sure they can get the victory over Thurm. But Thurm with a super kick. May have just knocked Richard Thompson's lights out with that one. Cover and no. Another kick out there by Richard Thompson. As Richard Thompson, I mean, 
I guess th this is one of the reasons why we call him the fastest rising superstar in UCW because he has shown that he can go the distance. Of course, he's now a two-time hardcore champion. So, I mean, Richard Thompson, he's proved that he can win the gold and go the distance to get it. We saw he had to go through the Elimination Chamber to win it back the second time from the Ghost. But this, is go this matchup right here has the uh, potential to catapult Richard Thompson to a high, uh, higher level than he's ever known here in UCW. I mean, getting a victory over the current UCW champion, Thurm. I mean, imagine what that could do for after Final Destination. Richard Thompson, the victory here may line him up to be one of the top contenders in the division. Whether, I mean, whether Thurm or Brian Cole wins at the pay-per-view. I mean, of course, if Brian Cole wins, Thurm will most definitely have a rematch clause. But even so, Richard Thompson would then be right there. So, I mean, a victory over Thurm here tonight in maybe not maybe not completely like next month is in short term but in not so much the long term Richard Thompson could find himself in the UCW championship picture maybe even getting a title shot if he could get the win over Thurm here but that's if he can get the win and that's e much easier said than done of course Thurm a former UCW heavyweight champion for two years just about so I mean it's gonna take a lot to keep this man down we've seen that in the past he's kicked out a finisher after finisher here we go, Richard Thompson setting him up, planting him face first into the mat. And now here's Richard Thompson, hooks the leg, one, two, no, there's a kick out by Thurm, as it is expected. I mean, Richard Thompson, he's gonna have to do a lot of damage in order to keep Thurm down here. Thurm with a roll up, that's a two count, and no, barely kicking out there, does Richard Thompson. And now Richard Thompson, Irish whips Thurm over there into the corner. And Thompson now, there's a kick right to the ribs, placing him now up on that top turnbuckle. What's he going to do here? Richard Thompson going to the top rope, or going to the second rope here. Look at this, fall away slam off that second rope there. And Richard Thompson now, third, I mean, he's, he's going right for the home run shot, looking for the finisher right here. And coming off of that, oh, what a nice, what a nice move there by Richard Thompson. But coming off that fall away slam, Thurm's still trying to recover. That's a very good strategy here by Richard Thompson. Go right in for the finisher. Vertical shoulder breaker. That could do it. Thurm, I don't think he's ever been hit with a move like that before. There's a cover. Two count. Oh my god, Richard Thompson did it. Richard Thompson knocks off Thurm here. Right before Final Destination. What an upset this is for Richard Thompson. In this champion versus champion matchup. Richard Thompson caught... Uh, I don't believe this. He caught me completely off guard. Caught Thurm off guard. Caught this UCW universe off guard. Getting the victory over Thurm here tonight. I, I'm shocked. I would not have expected coming into this one that Richard Thompson would have gotten the victory here. But I guess this is why Richard Thompson is the fastest rising superstar in UCW today. I mean, he may have gone through a little, a little bit of a uh, rough patch in the past month. But won back the title now, got the victory over Thurm. I mean, what an upset this is for Richard Thompson. He's got to be proud of himself. And look at Thurm. Thurm being a good sport, raising the arm of Richard Thompson here. But, I mean, Thurm, I don't know. Who's to say that Brian Cole, that little attack before the match, I mean, Thurm, he was probably prepared to get into this one, and that might have just completely thrown off his game plan. And Thurm just, I don't know. I don't think... I don't know if Thurm was really 100% mentally prepared for that one, as he should have been. Brian Cole, you know, mixing him up there a little bit before the matchup. That may have, that little scuffle might have just, might have just been enough to give Richard Thompson the edge in that one. But now it is time for the main event. It is a tag team matchup to determine the number one contenders for the UCW Tag Team Championship at Final Destination. Who will be challenging? the brothers KBM and CSM for those UCW Tag Team titles. Will it be Armageddon, the team of Ghost and Amazing X, or should I say The Ghost, or will it be this team, Disciples of Darkness 2.0 as I like to call them, the Savior Brothers, Chris and Drake Savior. And we know that they were supposed, they were supposed to have a rematch clause, but the board of directors caught up in all the affairs of Slider and Xander seem to have let it slip their mind and you know finally they realized almost basically too late now 
they finally realized, well, hey, I mean, these, these two are deserving of a tag team title opportunity, but so is Armageddon. Armageddon's been getting... They defeated the Savior Brothers once before, and they defeated DeMarc Sardin in X5 in the last episode. So, I mean... Or was it two episodes ago? One or the other. But, I mean... Um, Armageddon has earned a title opportunity as well, so I guess we gotta see which of these two teams is truly the superior. We do know that Armageddon knocked off the Saber Brothers... Was it two... Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, they knocked off the Saber Brothers. But the question is, were the Saber Brothers completely prepared for what Armageddon was? Because, I mean, Armageddon has certainly stepped up in the past number of weeks, taking out a number of... Uh, taking out a plethora of superstars. Guys like... Chris Savior, KBM, CSN, the Tag Team Champions themselves. Um, also, Richard Thompson, the Hardcore Champion. I mean, Armageddon's just been all over the place. Anarchy has truly begun to take over UCW with Armageddon. With Armageddon's presence, this little movement in full force they've got going. But what a nice hip toss neckbreaker there by Chris Savior. But on the other hand, Chris and Drake Savior, now they know. Now they know what a how much of a threat Armageddon is. I'm sure they've more than prepared for this one. This is the rematch, and we'll have to see if the Saber Brothers can get this one done, or will Armageddon get the victory once again and head into final destination, the number one contenders for the tag team titles. But whoever, regardless of who wins this one, we gotta be knowing that KBM and CSM are gonna be in the back, or somewhere, wherever they are, watching this one. As, uh... Chris Savior now dragging Amazing X over into his corner, I think is what he's attempting to do, trying to get him away from Ghost. This was the strategy we saw these two implement a couple of weeks ago in their first encounter. What a nice double team move. But we gotta remember that uh, eventually Amazing X, I mean Amazing X has been in the matchup for a while in that first one, but then he did manage to tag in the Ghost, and that was when Armageddon started to isolate Drake Savior, and Drake Saber was unable to get back into his corner and tag out to Chris Savior. And because of that, eventually he just kept taking a beating until he could not kick out anymore. And what is that? What a huge... He just catapulted... He just hit that moonsault, that springboard moonsault, all the way across the ring. And now there's a nice drop kick to the face of Amazing Axe taking him down. But yeah, we gotta remember that that was the strategy. That's the same strategy that DeMarcus and X5 used last week, or two weeks ago, whenever their matchup was. And we gotta remember, they isolated one member of Armageddon, which is what you gotta do, but unfortunately, once Armageddon took over, once they got their, uh, once they started to get their offense in, they did not give up. They just completely dismantled their opponent, they isolated him, would not allow them to get a tag, until eventually they couldn't kick out anymore, they just had nothing left in the tank, and... So far, we're seeing this match start to develop the same as it did a few weeks ago when these two faced off for the first time. Look at this. Back suplex by Drake Savior, but he's got to be careful. He's got Amazing X over there in Armageddon's corner. This is not where Drake Savior wants to be. He's got to keep that in mind because we got to remember that is how the Savior Brothers lost in their first encounter. He's obviously got to have that in the back of his mind. And look at this. Amazing X with a reverse twist of fate there, turning that into a bit of a neck breaker. And Drake Saver, you see, tried to take a swing at Ghost there. He's got to be careful, does not want to get caught in Armageddon's corner. Because that's how they lost the tag team match a couple of weeks ago, DDT! Planting Drake Saver face first into the mat. So Drake Saver, he's going to have to get back over to his brother Chris Saver. Northern Lights suplex by Amazing X, taking him down. And follows it up with a super kick right to the face. But Drake Saver, ever aggressive, makes it back to his feet. And now look at this. No, Amazing X with a nice counter. Whatever Drake was going for there got shut down. And oh, planting him face first into the mat. Does Amazing X. And now looking to make a tag to the Ghost. And he does. And now we got to worry. Drake Saver takes a shot from Amazing X. And look at this. Things are starting to break down in favor of Armageddon here. This is exactly what Armageddon did in their first encounter. They isolated Drake Saver. It appears as though history may repeat itself here tonight. They've got Drake Savior over there in their corner. Chris Savior, Drake Savior, they've they've got to have planned something for this because, I mean, this is exactly what happened in their first encounter. That's becoming, that's becoming redundant. I've said that like four times now. But it is important because it's happened before, and they've got to keep that in the back of their mind. They've got to have some sort of strategy implemented for this. Chris Savior, 
first time around, maybe was not expecting Drake Saber to get completely dissected like he was. And I don't know, just did not end up getting in there to break up the pinfall the first time around. But now, with so much more on the line here, so much at stake, Drake! What? It went for a drop kick, but unsuccessful. I don't think he quite got all of Ghost. May have stunned him there for, may have uh, momentarily stunned him. But now look at this. Oh, my God. oh what a move! By Drake Savior launching himself through the rope, suicide dive. And now Amazing X is over here as well. Drake Savior trying to fight off both members of Armageddon. But on the plus side, he is on his side of the ring. I mean, outside of the ring, but he is still over in the corner of the Saber Brothers. And now Chris Saber finally getting over there. Stupid AI doesn't know what they're doing, but Chris Saber finally gets in there to help out his brother. And now look at this Amazing X and Chris Saber on the outside. And no, Amazing Axe actually throwing Chris back into the ring. Electing not to go for the scuffle on the outside quite yet. But what a hurricanrana there by Drake Savior. And this could be the opening for Drake Savior to mount a comeback. As now there's a slap right to the face of the Ghost. That's definitely going to fire Ghost up, you would think. Ghost, I don't know. With his kind of personality, he's a big, powerful guy. Especially in 2K14. When he, uh, never mind, never mind. But anyway, anyway, Chris Savior now. Gets tagged back into this one. Look at this. Clothesline with a chop lock. Nice combination there. Just only adding to the impact of the ghost. His back of his head landing off the mat. And now Chris Savior here in the ring. So history did not quite repeat itself immediately anyways. We'll have to see now if Chris Savior. Hopefully the Disciples of Darkness can isolate. I mean as far as for their sake. Hopefully they can isolate Ghost here. And now here's Chris Savior. Double leg drop. Into the nether region there. That's a bit low by Chris Savior now. Going to the top rope. Crossbody. Taking down the ghost. Chris Savior now. But look at this ghost. Back to his feet. Rakes the eyes and then delivers a drop kick. Chris Savior right back up to his feet. Delivers a kick to the face of the ghost. Kick of his own. And there's one to the gut. And another kick right to the face. But no. The ghost back up to his feet here. And now a knee right to the face by Chris Savior. And a spine buster. What a counter, nice double A spine buster by the Ghost and delivers the knee right to the face of Chris Savior. As now Ghost may be trying to make, get back on the offensive here, trying to maintain uh, regain control. And now look at this, armbar, but no, Chris Savior got to the ropes. Forces the rope break. And now both superstars in the lockup, but of course Ghost is gonna win this one. He's got the size and power advantage, but still, Bit of an acrobatic move there, planting Chris Savior face first into the mat with that jumping complete shot. And now working on the arm of Chris Savior, just stomping on the back of the arm, almost at the elbow with that joint. Chris Savior, that's definitely, you're gonna feel that one. The Ghost now throwing Chris Savior over there into the corner. As this matchup has been a little more back and forth as opposed to their first matchup. Look at this, Chris Savior drop kick. Takes down the Ghost. And now Chris Savior, big splash. Landing right on the ghost. And now look at this springboard runes. Nope, didn't quite didn't quite connect. Ghost just managed to roll out of the way on that one. Chris Saber though making it back to his feet here. And now what is this? Irish whip sending ghost over there into the corner. But ghost gets out of it. And ghost now with a headlock. And look at this. Very smart move by the ghost. Getting him back in the corner of Armageddon. And ghost now looking to make a tag. And he does. Amazing X now getting in here. What is ghost doing? Look at this. Oh my god, a Frankensteiner into a power bomb! What a double team move there by Armageddon. Roll, rolls may have been a bit reversed there, but whatever the. It, it doesn't matter. It, it did the. Yeah, I can't even speak. I'm just so surprised that Ghost would hit a Frankensteiner off the top. But it did the damage, got the damage done, and look at this! Look at that, a sideways slam. And now into the cover, there's one. But no, Chris Saber kicking out a one there. As, uh. That move, would you call it like a, I don't know, but I, I can't I can't get too technical right now. Here's Amazing X. There's a move I know, the Jackknife power bomb. That may be it. Armageddon could be closing in on a victory here. Two counts, and no, Chris Savior. Chris Savior kicks out, and there we go, going for a move there, but no, Amazing X countered, and now there's a counter by Chris Savior. Chris Savior now, float of a neck breaker takes him down. Chris Savior was going for that cutter, that running cutter, his finishing maneuver. And now Chris Savior, looking at him out of comeback, there's a kick right to the gut. Chris Savior, of course, the veteran of the Savior Brothers, and of, 
uh, taking a bit more punishment than his brother did a few weeks ago. Here we go. Spinning neck breaker takes down Amazing X. And this is actually probably a smart move on the part of the Saber Brothers. Get the veteran Chris Saber in there. Let him get fired up here. Drake Saber watching on the sidelines. Here's the cover. There's one. No, Amazing X with a kick out. I mean, this tag team is a bit different than Armageddon. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chris Saber, roll up here. He's got him. He's got him. Stack. No. Kick out there by Amazing X. But th this tag team of the Saber Brothers is a bit different as opposed to Armageddon. Where Armageddon, they're both, they're both basically at the same sort of level here in UCW. Whereas, you know, Chris, uh, I heard something in the other room. Chris Savior is a bit of a veteran. What is this? Oh, kick right to the back. Back of the neck of Amazing X. But as I was saying, Chris Savior, the veteran of the tag team, Drake Savior, uh, up and coming superstar here in UCW. And look at that. Amazing X was going for a tag. Drake Savior got over there and shut him down. And now look at this. Drop kick. That's a very smart move by Drake Saver. Lucky that it worked. Oh, and now looking to finish it off here. He knocked Ghost off the ropes. Now looking for his finisher. Kick to the face. Could that be it? Saver Brothers could be closing in on a victory. Hooks the leg. One, two. No, Amazing X kicks out. That was, I thought that might have been it, but no, Amazing X manages to kick out. And here's Amazing X now. He's, he's got to make a tag here to Ghost. And look at this. Oh, an exploder suplex. Taking Drake, Drake Saber down and electing not to go for the tag. Instead, going to go for the finisher here. Drake Saber. I don't know. Will this be it? Wait a minute. Ghost. Ghost getting a shot in here. Alabama slam. That's the back of Drake Saber's head. Hits off the mat. And now it's Amazing X. He's looking to finish it here. Going for the finisher. But no. Drake Saber with a counter. Look at this. Oh, what a spear. What a spear by Amazing X. And Amazing X. Now, now he makes the tag to the Ghost. And Ghost now coming in. Full head of steam, uppercut, takes down Drake Savior, and now knocks Chris Savior off the ring apron. And here's Ghost now. But no, Drake Savior counter with a clothesline. What a move. May have just knocked Ghost right out of his boots here. But now both these superstars back up to their feet. Both these superstars now running on adrenaline, getting a huge adrenaline adrenaline rush now. As there's a two kicks in the face, counters, and a neck breaker there by the Ghost. And Ghost now hooks the leg. One. No. Drake Savior immediately kicks out at one. And here, Drake Savior now putting Ghost over there in the corner. And now it's Drake Savior's turn. He's going to fire up a comeback. Jumps off the ropes. Look at this. Runs off the ropes. Building up a full head of steam. Ducks a clothesline. Elbow right to the right to the sternum there of the Ghost. And here we go. Drake Savior hooks the leg. One. No. Kick out by the Ghost. As the action in this one is definitely picked up. This has really escalated quickly here. Ghost now, countered by Drake Saber into a headlock. And reverse atomic drop there from the Ghost. And Drake Saber missed a kick there. And now Ghost caught a kick. And look at this. Oh my god, knee right to the face. Will that do it? Will that be it? Not going for the cover. Stupid faulty mechanics. But wait a minute, no. Drake Saber countered. Drake Saber, DDT. Plants. Uh, an elevated DDT planting Ghost face first in the mat. And Drake Saber now. Drake Saber kicked to the face. Could that be it? Amazing X is outside the ring. Drake Saber hooks the leg. One, two, three. No! Ghost kicks out. Ghost kicks out. Finisher after finisher here. Both these superstars, all four of these superstars kicking out. And it's just not been enough. Here's Drake Saber now. Makes a tag into Chris Saber. And here we go. Uppercut by Chris Saber. And now Chris Saber firing up a hot tag. He's now in the ring here. Look at this. Hurricanrana busting open the ghost there as he just drove ghost face first in the mat. And now Chris Savior picks up ghost here. Snapmare takedown. Building up ahead of steam here. Drop kick right to the face of ghost. And now Chris Savior continuing to ride this adrenaline rush. Keep, keep the hot tag going. Leg drop there right to the face of the ghost. Hooks the leg. One. No. Kick out by the Ghost. And now look at this. Tilt a world backbreaker there by the Ghost. As like I said, sometimes these matches get tedious. And here we go. Corkscrew axe kick right to the back of the head of Chris Savior. And now the Ghost has managed to maintain or regain control on this one. Hooks the leg. One, two. No. Kick out by Chris Savior. This is very close now. Amazing X. I don't, I'm not sure what Amazing X is doing on the outside. But could this distraction... Potentially cost his team counter by Ghost. Uh, actually, I think Amazing X 
must have th just that much amount of confidence in Ghost's abilities. Of course, Ghost, longest reigning champion here in UCW. There's a cover! Oh, it was so close there. It's like two and seven eighths. Chris Saver kicking out, though. And now what is this? Has him up. Oh, an elevated jawbreaker there. Shoulder jawbreaker, maybe even. Just swung him around there. Now hooks the leg. One, two. No, kick out once again by Chris Savior. But you got to remember, Ghost has held the uh, UCW International Championship. He held it from Bio Resilience back in May up until, what was it? Up until uh, No Escape in October. No, 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 September. September, that's what it was. That was a very long title reign for the Ghost. Trying to regather my thoughts here, but this match has just been all over the place. Just back and forth between these two teams. And now, Drake Xavier go for a suplex. But Ghost with a counter into a neck break. Whoa, look at that. Drake Xavier immediately back up to his feet. Ghost tags out into Amazing X. And there's a backhand, a spinning backhand. And here's Drake Xavier now. Delivers a suplex. But no, wait a minute. Drake Xavier going for another one here. A second suplex. And he's still not done. Drake Xavier... Delivers the third suplex. Shades. Never mind. Hooks the leg. One. Two. No. Another kick out by the ghost. This is just... Uh, actually, that's Amazing X. What am I saying? Here we go. Kick to the gut. Looking to plant Amazing X into the map. But no. Kick to the gut by Amazing X. And here we go. He was looking to tag out. But Drake Saver does not allow that. Takes down. And there's a clothesline. Taking Ghost out. Drake Saver now to the top. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amazing X. Amazing X caught him. Caught him out of midair. And look at this. He's got him up. Knee to the face. Is that it? Could that finally be the end of this one? Amazing X hooks the leg. One, two, three. It's finally over. He did not hook the leg, by the way. But Armageddon. Armageddon after one hell of a match. That was a very hard fought tag team matchup. Very back and forth. I wasn't sure who was going to come away with the win here in this one. That main event took up... That was almost a 20-minute back-and-forth match between these two teams. Oh, man. Both those two teams certainly had each other scouted. They were well aware of what happened the first time around. And both were prepared for... I mean, look at this. Drake Saver. It seemed like Drake Saver was taking control in this one. But Amazing X just caught him out of nowhere. Don't even get to show it on the replay. Are you kidding me, THQ? What are you doing? What are you doing to me? But wow. What a main event. What a main event. That was the final episode of UCW Wednesday Night Wipeout in this series. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned for the final Destination pay-per-view. I hope you all enjoyed the series. This is not the last episode, but it is the last televised episode of UCW Wednesday Night Wipeout. So I hope you all enjoyed this series. Of course, be sure to stay tuned for Final Destination. Yeah, just like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Keep on YouTubing.